Hey YouTube, welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video with Mr. Terry as I continue my search for historical knowledge here on the internet. Alright, today's video is the biggest request that I get of things I have not yet done. And that is reacting to history memes. Right, I've been, uh, uh, I don't know why I've waited so long to do this. I don't know, just because meme culture is great. It's also terrible. <laughs> And I finally got around to, to kind of doing this. So here's what I did uh, with this. I asked my mods on Discord to collect history-related memes um, from wherever they get them, um, including uh, the meme channel that's on our Discord server here, and had them collect them to uh, into, a, uh, into a, a channel here that I can see. You know, I haven't seen these yet, so um, I don't know. I was just, I've been asked to do this for since I started this channel and I thought we'd do it and I don't know how it's gonna look I, I look at it I explain them I don't know do I need to explain them just watch me laugh whatever but I guess we'll just see how this goes all right uh, before I begin if you haven't subbed to my channel uh, definitely would love to have you around hit that sub button enable notifications so you know when live streams and uh, live premieres are and again this came uh, this is kind of from our discord community if you haven't joined our discord community you definitely want to do it looks like time of this video we are at uh, 5,155 members, so pretty awesome place to hang out and discuss history and other things, so. Alright, well, let's go ahead and see, and, um, if you like this format, let me know if you want me to do more of these. I know the, the internet is just full of endless memes, so, whatever. Alright, let's see what we got here. Very first one. I, am I a meme? Okay, this says, my man is straight up a real life Kirby. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, so this is this is for the Salmonella video. The uh, Terrare, the dude who just eats stuff. I don't like. You remember? Do you remember that? If you haven't seen that video, it's it's wild. There's this dude that could just eat all the time, and <laughs> Kirby. So I'm a, I'm a gamer. If you haven't seen my my shelf and all that stuff, and the Kirby games, great retro games, and I guess they got modern where Kirby just eats whole things and then absorbs their power. I guess Ter uh, uh, Terrare, he didn't do that though, right? He didn't actually. Uh, <laughs> um, absorb their powers, but no, that's great. If you haven't seen the, that video, go to Sam and Ella's channel if you, and then watch that, and then come. You can come see my react video, but that's great. Yeah. All right, another one. I don't know if you can read that. Small. It says, <clears throat> "Oh gosh, I don't know what's happening here." Okay, it says it's it's a it's a comment from YouTube. Uh, Mr. Terry History, you should become a history teacher or something. <laughs> can I tell if that's a joke? But uh, I am. That is my profession. Uh, I am a history teacher. I should become one. It's a good idea. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's see what we got down here. All right. Hopefully these are big enough you can see. It says, Till 1714, a Norwegian captain and English captain had a 14-hour-long ship fight. Afterwards, both ships were badly damaged, and the Norwegian captain was running out of ammo. He sent an envoy to the English ship. Asking if he could borrow some of their ammo. They said no. The nervous of Norwegian captain. The nervous some people. Like like they're just gonna give him it. Hey, like let's continue the fight. Let's get, let's let's do that. <laughs> nice. I do know people adapt a lot of SpongeBob to, to history memes. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Alright, Mithridates the sixth was so paranoid of being poisoned that he took small doses throughout his life to build up an immunity. When he was finally captured by the Romans, he tried to kill himself with poison, but was but failed because he was immune. <laughs> Tasks successfully failed. So the one time he needed poisoning, it didn't work for him. This is pretty interesting. He like inoculated himself pretty much and built yeah built an immunity to poison. Not a bad idea, but he probably wasn't expecting that he would have to you know do that sometime. Okay, what do we got? All right, Genghis Khan retreats. Enemy breaks ranks to chase Genghis Khan. <laughs> You fool, you fell victim to one of the classic blunders. We got Princess Bride there. So yeah, what this is explaining, if you don't know, is they uh, the Mongols had this tactic of a planned retreat. So they would they would go into a place, right, intentionally to draw them out. So they'd go in, and then they'd be like, oh, we got to retreat, like everybody back. And what they were trying to do was bait the people they were fighting to follow them. And they would take them out of the confines of like the city or maybe the walls, archers, I don't know. And then regroup real quickly and then counterattack. And apparently that was, yeah, something famous that the Mongols would do and was effective for them. So, 
Princess Bride. Right, he's from Princess Bride, right? All right, what do we got here? Something with phones. What people think would blow a person's mind from the 1600s? Cell phone. What would actually blow their minds? <laughs> Just like a... Oh, is it spice? I hope it's... Okay, it's food. So specifically, I, I want to highlight there because I can't see all of it. Would be spice. Okay, it is. It's the spice rack. So, yeah. They say, like... <coughs> um, with the with the pepper, for example, that you have like in your in your uh, on the shelf at a, at, a, at your local grocery store, that's enough pepper to like, like in the Middle Ages would be enough to like I think like pay your yearly rent or something like it's it's absurd how much how valuable that was, but yeah now you just can go get it you know off the shelf all these different ones from all over the planet went back in the yeah sixteen hundreds you got the spice trade and all that and it it, it is what largely created the global trade trading network um the first global trading network based off them precious spices right all right <coughs> but forgive me i got a cold <coughs> oh excuse me all right so let's see the soviet experiments in the early 20th century parachute silk was rare in the Soviet Union. So the military conducted experiments with air-dropping soldiers into deep snow without parachutes. And the dude's elbow slam wrestling style. In the early 20th century? I mean, it would have to be because it's planes, but like... Were they forced to? They're just like push out. Oh wait, I don't have a you don't have a have a, um, a parachute. Cheese. Only in Soviet Russia, huh? I already got the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, Russia, Prussia, and Austria. They were always picking on those um, like Poland and the Baltic states, weren't they? Where on earth does this cartoon come from? Why does this exist? I'm assuming that the, the knives were part of the original one. Jeez. Except her dad is, you know, the Polish Lithuanians are, are finished mowing the European lawn. They're about to get, you know, hit. All right, more SpongeBob. Third time's the char charm. Charles the Third. Wait, Napoleon the Third. Oh, it's just like the the third people can. Napoleon the Third. It's all stinky. Charles the Third. He sucks. Stinky. Terminator Three. Uh, third partition of Poland. Third Crusade. Third Reich, <laughs> so they're saying that the third, the third, the, the, the uh, um, third version of anything is is, is terrible, huh? <laughs> Good point. Nice. Oh, The Office. Love The Office. Oh, Dana. Okay, this is not funny. You burned all our crops and ravaged our land, Bologna. Okay, well you're the one who stole my bucket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. War of the bucket. Hopefully you saw that oversimplified video. That was one of the funniest ones ever. And and and, and from uh, I knew the larger context of the war, but not that like bucket story. That was a great one. Nice. Keep keep the office memes coming because I can relate to those for sure. I already got here. Kids these days talking about Fortnite and PUBG are forgetting the original battle royale. Heck yeah, dude! The city states of Japan just constantly at war with each other, military commanders and samurai and all that. Uh, depending on what time period you're at, just beating each other up. That's great. That's great. I'll have to try to, after here, try to pick out some of the ones that I, you know, I think would be good for my class. I like to throw memes into my class sometimes. and You know, some of them get it, but this is my job to make them get it, right? All right, cool. Oh, we got the kids' book. Oh, my gosh, it's Hamilton. Okay, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Aaron Burr. So, yeah, Aaron Burr um, killed... Uh, Alexander Hamilton in a duel, famous way that he went down that way, made it to like a book. Because this, 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 the terrible, horrible, no, very, no good, very bad day. That's that's a kids' book, I remember, right? I forgot what the original title was though. That's good. All right, what do we got? We got a. Uh, um, let's see. Got some Nixon here. Okay, LinkedIn, Facebook. Instagram, Snapchat, Tinder. Oh, geez. So it's just like him and the, the different, uh, um, different social media accounts. How you how you how you do it? Like Instagram, people are always posting food. 
Snapchat just for party. I don't, I don't Snapchat, but Facebook, LinkedIn, because it's like a professional. <laughs> nice. All right, what else we got here? Okay, John Adams in heaven, finding out that he wasted his last words. I don't remember what his last words were. They were famous, weren't they? President Adams. Shoot, let me know. All right, what do we got here? Pan, crick, crack, 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 crick, crack, pan, 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 cling, because you're out of, you're out of the, the, bullets. What, because I don't like it being like semi-automatic? Shoot, am I lost on this one a little bit? You understand, like, yeah, you get them out, you get the meeting, and they're all talking, but the one, yeah, okay, so this gun, yeah, it's a different, the grand here, right? So, um, throw them out, we don't want you. All right, what we got here? Daniel, the cooler Daniel, what yearbook. Germany, then the, the cooler Germany, after they annex part of Poland. and It's the cooler Germany, huh? <laughs> all right, well, Stalin, a communist... The symbol on his hat is the Hemar and Popsicle, so maybe he is. Sounds legit. Seems legit. <laughs> uh, Adolf Hitler, European tour. I'm usually on that one for, for Nazi memes, but let's see what we got here. George, I mean, all the places that they invaded there. Started with Poland, right? Poland was the first. I mean, if you don't count, because uh, uh, um, Czechoslovakia and Austria, which didn't require fighting, but Norway, Luxembourg, Holland, Belgium, France sold out quickly. Yeah, I mean, it went quick. It went very, very, uh, fairly quick there. Mussolini joins the tour. Great Britain canceled problems with flight. Yeah, uh, the, the Battle of Britain was a loss for the Germans. Then to Yugoslavia, to Greece, Crete, Russia canceled bad weather. <laughs> yeah, um, winter settles in, you get them repulsed at Stalingrad. And then German, Germany, okay, so when the, the Russians invade uh, or reach, reach Berlin first, private bunker performance with wife. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? What some call East Germany, what I call East Germany, like all the Poland parts and the parts that Russia controls. Fair point, fair point. <laughs> All right, American history. I have done nothing wrong ever in my life. Americans, I know this, and I love you. That's <laughs> how people say it about American history is, you know, if you, all, all countries' histories are going to have things that may shine their country into a bad light. If you don't see that, then maybe you're not getting good material, but <laughs> that's definitely criticism of American history. And, all right, sorry, this is really small. It says, 230 years, 237 years ago, this man wrote the ultimate breakup letter. It's not you. It's us, the United States. <laughs> nice, we get decoration there. We're breaking up. It's not It's not you. It's, it's us. All right, what do we got here? We got a uh, newscaster here. Breaking news. Ulysses S. Grant hospitalized due to spinal fracture caused by carrying the Union Army for the past four years. Yeah, well, if you if you just saw, um, I, I watched and reacted to, and you probably watched um, the American Civil War episode by uh, um, Oversimplified, and talked about how you know he came in and got the leadership position into the war a bit after uh, General McClellan was fired by Lincoln, and um, yeah, had to had to yeah, you're right, kind of carry it because things weren't going well for the um, um, for the Union at the time. Grant was. Uh, uh, promoted. All right, here we go. It says select all the images. The Viet Cong, uh, the Viet Cong soldier. Click. Oh, cause, okay. So Vietnam War. Yeah, I mean, so the in the uh, the Vietnam War, the Americans and the French before them had such a hard time dealing with the terrain, the thick jungle terrain that the Vietnamese were so good at fighting in, and every square inch was a potential death trap with soldiers and traps and stuff like that, and was one of the reasons um, the war didn't go very well. So, <laughs> but you can see that. I hate I hate these things when when you're doing you have to like sign into a website and you have to like find the things with buses and you find something you're like you don't know if it counts or not. Ugh. 
All right, we got some anime going here. Shooting Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, he, he has shot. He doesn't die. Yep, he doesn't. Refuse to go to the doctor. Gives his speech. Starts mocking your assassination attempt. Yeah, this is a famous story. Teddy Roosevelt was this, it was shot, and he had a had a speech to do. Survives it and insisted on actually performing the speech. Did it basically with a bullet in him, and gives his speech and goes on. So it's kind of seen one of the the, the bad A moments for uh, American history there. Okay, we got more. We got more anime memes. Posting a history meme, get pinged. It's from the history memes channel. It's from Chairman Meow. <laughs> Chairman Meow is one of our mods, one of our super active mods. Well done. And he posted it himself. For shame, Meow. <laughs> All right, anyways, Ford. We were proudly founded by Henry Ford. Toyota, our founder was the visionary uh, Kichiro Toyota, the Volkswagen. <laughs> I, I love the meme. I love this. Whatever this like show is from, the whole like look at in eyes because it's like the don't look at me thing. Because Volkswagen was was um, German and and they it said founded founded by Nazis, so it's like oh we can't take pride in that. <laughs> um, I love this is one of my favorite ones that you can do memes too though. I love that. It's such a good facial expression though. Okay. All right, what do we got here? Come on, let's go. In and out. 20-minute adventure. Oh, the Gallipoli fight? Nope. Nope. So the Gallipoli fight in World War One was um, the British were invading the Dardanelles. They wanted to get the Strait of Water that connects the Mediterranean to the Black Sea so they could um, cut off Ottoman control there and be able to connect the Mediterranean to the Black Sea so they could better connect with uh, Russia, um, the British ally. And uh, it was a massive failure. Um, the British got slaughtered and, and lost the territory. It was actually a huge blow to, by the way, uh, Winston Churchill's early military career as he was working for the Navy and one of the people that was ordering this. So, yeah, it's, it was a nasty, nasty fight that wasn't uh, successful for the Allies. I already got Canadians as civilians, Canadians as soldiers. Nice. Yeah, so um, Canada, people cr will criticize Canada that they're not have been more in more wars or I don't know like just haven't fought a lot but they do especially when because they ally with the British or the British get involved they do that and the Canadians have been very successful um, they've been known as never losing a war right and they put that in the face of like Americans and stuff like that but yeah the Canadian army when they've needed to fight has um, always done very well All right, what do we got I've fought against China the most in Japan Mongolia no I have amateurs Mongolia definitely fought against the Chinese more than the Chinese, or fight against the Chinese more than the Japanese. Amateurs, what was that, punk? Amateurs. China? Just because civil war, I guess? Is that what they're relating to? Because China is just known for notorious civil wars and rebellions throughout their entire history. Is that what they're relating to? <laughs> I don't know that comic's from or anything, but we'll see. Adobe has developed software that can detect Photoshop in an image there. Oh, and then <laughs> and that's not. I show this picture in my class because you can, you have this photo, and then you have another version of it. Yeah, with the with a guy right here, if you can see, and then when it's gone, or in another photo, he's gone. And what what it was uh, talking about, what we were referring to, is how uh, their um, the 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 uh, Soviet Union, the the government would um, with propaganda would doctor photos and take out evidence of people that end up they see being as traitors and stuff like that and there's a bunch of evidence of that so yeah if you if you were able to do this in uh yeah for all those all those photos um that you can see have been doctored man you'd see you'd see little things like this all the time <laughs> all right what do we got here all right got some dave Chappelle, elephant's foot chernobyl the elephant's foot is the nickname given to a large mass of um, corium formed during the chernobyl disaster in april 1986 the mass is quite dense, unyielding to a drill, but able to be damaged by um, Kalashnikov rifle. Soviet problems require Soviet solutions. Nice. That's great. Alright, what else we got? EA Games, pay to win, 16th century Catholic Church, saying that they both they both are pay to win. <laughs> EA, right? I get so much crap for that EA Games in the 16th century Catholic Church. They get in the 1500s. Um, that's when you're getting Reformation and Counter-Reformation going at that time. 
All right, all right. Okay, what do we got here? Creating an alphabet for your language. Okay, so we like Greek, Roman, etc. Okay, uh, creating an alphabet for your language, then deciding to use a cooler one some other people made. So now we get the British. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah, okay. So you get another languages. So these are alphabets where um, you adopt, I guess, other stuff, right? Other people's. It's like English, German, yeah. And then instead of creating an alphabet, just making a letter for every word in the language. Yeah, so you get that with like Chinese. Um, and yeah, and th those languages are obviously the hardest because you have to have a different character for every like word you want to do, which is not a very efficient system, which is why most modern day systems don't use that. All right, and the last one, not having an alphabet for your language, stealing one from your neighbors, which they took some of it from China, yeah, and using it in the wrong way, and then also creating two new alphabets for your language and using all three at once. Japanese is supposed to be so difficult because there are so many different elements to it, so nice. Got the big brain going there. All right. You telling me Julius Caesar, who has been dead for well over 70 years, made this salad? Technically, you aren't wrong with that number. I just hate it. Wait, dead for... Okay, I mean Caesar salad. Been dead over seven years. I don't get the timeline of this. Someone explain. I'll have to get it. Grand Theft Spice Trade. <laughs> Get the Portuguese coming in, stealing it from the, you know, the Muslim world was the one that had been historically uh, dealing with, uh, or, or had been dealing with, with uh, the spice trade that came across the Indian, o Indian Ocean there. I already got here. Never forget that on this day in 793 AD, a group of Vikings selflessly rescued the treasures of Lindisfarna from a great fire. After the monks mysteriously and spontaneously died. Oh my gosh. They're taking all these relics. They rescued the treasures, but the monks they took it from uh, mysteriously and spontaneously died. <laughs> I think that's my favorite meme here. Um, and I think that's the one we're going to end on for, for this, ep this episode of, I guess, what we'll call History Teacher Reacts to History Memes. That's great. So, I mean, the Vikings are well known for their pillaging and plundering and stuff like that. And... Uh, there you go. Painting them as these these nice guys when they were so brutal with this stuff. That's fantastic. That's a great meme there. All right. Awesome. All right. Thanks to the mods for pulling some of these out. Let me know, you guys, if you like this. Uh, if you like this format. Is this something I should I should continue doing? Or you can, you can just say, Mr. Terry, stick to videos, whatever. Um, but if it's something you you would like, let me know. And we can uh, keep doing that. And we'll have them keep, uh, have my mods keep keep getting memes um again they pull some of those off of uh, the discord there's a discord channel for for memes here um where you can put stuff you know as long as it's uh um we have certain guidelines for what kind of memes we like so make sure you look at that um look at the rules and stuff like that for memes that are that are acceptable or are, are not acceptable but anyway i try as a teacher to you know kids love memes and you can find history memes and make them relevant they're fun to use so i do i use these i, I really do and uh it's it's a uh, it's a fun part of being able to be a teacher when you can relate in this kind of way so all right well um again a lot of this came out of discord if you haven't joined our discord server there'll be a link down below you can check that out other ways you can support the channel um thank you to everyone that is a patron member right now if you want to join our patreon there's a link down below uh, patreon will also get you access if you're a member to voting in polls so you can uh, have influence on what comes over on the site and that sort of thing thanks to everyone that's done super chat donations or stream lab donations i really appreciate you supporting the channel and in and, and a larger sense supporting history education because that's what we're here for and everything's about here all right um with that we'll go ahead and end here and we'll see you guys next time bye